Welcome to Exploring the Metaverse, where we explore the depths of virtual reality and the ever-expanding metaverse and how that applies to regular people like you and me. My name is Matthew Warren, and I'm no expert on this subject. However, I have had a deep passion for technology, for the internet, and the ever-growing technological nature of our world. I want to dive into this subject piece by piece with you and industry experts, interested individuals, and anyone who wants to talk about what I think is an incredibly exciting subject for the future and the type of thing that's going to really sneak up on some folks who don't necessarily want to admit that it's there, but I know that it's there and I know that it's going to be a massive part of our future and I want to be there with you every step of the way. When you start diving into the subject of the metaverse, it is a very vast topic. I mean, that's one of the motivations and inspirations for starting this podcast is the fact that I just don't know. I don't know everything. I'll never know everything, and neither will you. However, information really and truly is power. And looking at something like Wikipedia to get things started gives me a nice broad overview of the subject. And as per Wikipedia, a metaverse is a network of 3D virtual worlds focused on social connection. Now, to stop right after that first sentence, that to me sounds like the current social media environment that we live in, but in a completely three-dimensional world, which is a little bit frightening and also a little bit exciting. In fact, I find it to be incredibly exciting. And I think this is the type of thing that scares people, that makes them think that, wow, this is trying to replace the real world, or I don't want to live in a virtual landscape. And I don't think at this point or any time in the near future that we have to worry about the metaverse or any virtual reality world taking over reality. However, I think we can look at this as something that can truly augment our existing society. Wikipedia goes on to say that the term metaverse has its origins in the 1992 science fiction novel Snow Crash as a portmanteau of meta and universe. Now, I don't think it took Wikipedia for us to understand that meta and universe has been brought together in this term. And I can't honestly say that I've used the term meta a lot, but continuing down the investigative path, we can see here that the word meta is from the Greek word meaning after or beyond. It's basically a prefix meaning more comprehensive or transcending. And universe uh, clearly is basically all of space and time and their contents. So when we put those two together, it's truly an amalgamation of the existing world brought into a virtual universe in the most comprehensive possible way, which is at least how I interpret this meaning. And this isn't the very first time that the metaverse has been sort of dabbled in or explored by a company or by any type of platform. Many people will remember the video game called Second Life, which really is a virtual world. It is a metaverse of sorts that brings together, it's uh, as, as Wikipedia would say, it's an iteration involving integration between virtual and physical spaces and importantly, virtual economies. And I think that's the part that we're going to have to really dig into is that economy side. The fact that when there's money involved, it gives us a path to follow because that money and where motivation exists is typically where the profit exists for individuals. And I can see how the major corporations of today, the major tech corporations, especially Facebook, Microsoft, Google, and the like, they're chasing the dollars and they're truly looking at the next avenue for growth for their companies, moving into the next phases of the internet and the way that the social media world interacts and that, well, current devices such as our, our existing smartphones, laptops, tablets, things of that nature are doing well and I believe are continuing to 
continuing to grow, this is the kind of thing where these massive corporations, they need to look ahead and they need to have a plan to satisfy the shareholders. And I truly think that this is going to be the way of the future. So for me, and for many people, I think one of the very first implementations of the metaverse and of virtual reality will be gaming. I think that the average individual who uses social media sees a large gap between picking up a smartphone and scrolling through Facebook or or any other social media platform, maybe some TikTok or something along those lines, and strapping on a full headset, a bodysuit, and diving into a complete virtual world. But that's a regular user of technology. But I look at someone like a gamer, who I happen to be one, and I look at the gap between owning a high-end PC with high-resolution monitors and high-quality audio-video equipment and attaching a virtual reality headset to that type of platform, a very small leap. And I think that as companies make this make this gap smaller, they make that onloading ramp for a regular user into VR, into the metaverse smaller, cheaper, and more accessible. I think this is where people are really going to bring that world closer to the regular world. And people like gamers are really going to be the ones who are going to open that door and sort of sell the concept to their friends, sell that concept to those non-technologically inclined individuals and show them that, well, gaming is, of course, an easy way to get started. There's so much more that's available that you can use to bring the online world together with the real world. And I think, you know, when we look at the existing world that we live in with many, many places in the world experiencing lockdowns and isolation and and things of the like, the ability to bring the real world into something such as a virtual meeting. I mean, you know, you have all these folks working from home and normally they'd be in a boardroom or they'd be in some sort of office setting. And if you could have a virtual avatar walk into the company office and walk into the boardroom and sit down and basically look face to face with your colleagues, I believe this allows the economy and the business world to really move forward in an exciting and very, very productive way, at the same time growing the adaption, the adoption of the metaverse and of virtual reality technology to, to bring it to the mainstream and to help bring the cost down of the VR headsets to get them into the hands of the quote unquote regular people, you know, the children the the people who wouldn't necessarily associate themselves with going into a virtual space and to kind of bring that actual helpful productive end user use case more and closer to our regular day so through this podcast i think it's going to be exciting to bring in guests from around the world around this technological space from the gaming the virtual reality, the hardware, the software, the economic side of things. See if we can't find some folks who can enlighten us on the subject and especially in their areas of expertise. I'm an interested and curious individual and I intend to to scour the news, the different media sites and to speak to people who know and to bring together that information so that we can learn and grow and explore the metaverse together. Thank you very much for your interest in this Exploring the Metaverse podcast. Contact me at exploringthemetaversetogether at gmail.com. That's exploringthemetaversetogether at gmail.com. Let me know the ideas you have and especially individual guests that you think would be awesome on this show. People that can teach me, who can teach you, and can bring us closer to that metaverse experience. I'm excited to go down this road with you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time.